got home from work today and there's um, deliveries. Uh, fault grip, uh, fault grips, fucking hell. Handlebar, grips, new clutch and brake lever. Let's get them fitted. There we go then, 45 minutes later. New clutch lever, new brake lever, new risers, quite like them. Bought them because they were cheap, but they look pretty damn good. So, bang in, more jobs are coming. And on today's episode of An Idiot and His Hammer, we are, uh, what have we done? So, I've cut these tabs off of here because this tank seemed to be mounted kind of right off to the right hand side. I don't like that, so I want to mount it back to the left, which will bring me onto this part. So this, that's my first ever attempt at trying to uh, match the profile. That's not too bad. It'd be welded over anyway. So what I've done is I've kind of matched it to there. And that where the tape is, is gonna be a little bit of metal that goes in the gap between that rubber and there to hold the rear fender on. That's the plan. So it looks like I'm gonna to have to take the rear wheel off so I can get in here, weld that up, tidy all these bits up while I'm at it, get this bit in, weld it in, and sort out about fixing that. Then I can work on the rear mountings. And yeah, and then we'll worry about remounting this before we do the electrics. But we seem to be getting somewhere. Let's get it done. Right, got the wheel off, and what I did was I used that to measure the angle of the frame. I ground all the tabs and everything off here, look, that's looking all right. And then I made my little spacer, and I've just tacked it loosely into place there. That's what I think it's gonna be. I think there's about 15 millimeters, and I've cut that. Now, to get all this, I ground the most of it off with just a standard grinder disc and then to keep it flat I used this thing that I bought off eBay a buddy of mine recommended it to me and uh, I've got to say the belts tear up pretty quick I went through two belts just doing that one but maybe that's just me being heavy-handed um, but I'm quite happy with how it actually finishes up so I've taken the sissy bar off put it over there just so I've got more space to work now what I'm going to have to do is put the wheel back on um, to make sure that that mounts in the right place. It is centered up. You can vaguely see a line there and there. Um, I cut this bar out as well because I don't think it was supposed to be there and judging by the fact, well I didn't actually cut it, I hit it with a hammer and it fell off. Um, so yeah, I don't think that was supposed to be there. The welding was crap on that as well. So get the back wheel on and we'll see if that's working. Right, so I've got the T tacked in, just lightly there to attach the fender. I bought the fender up here and my plan was to go through these holes on either side. But I've just found out in measuring them, which I probably should have done before, that the um, they're both different lengths in. One's like 15, one's 16 or something like that. But anyway, they're they're wrong, so I can't do that. So my other old plan is to come up with this, which is a single bolt under there, welded onto the number plate, which is welded onto the sissy arm, which will have, oh, let's grab. So I've got, the, this light was on the bike, I'm just reusing that. So we'll have that light there, and then a bolt above for a little, a little something I've got knocking about that bolt's wonky but you know you can kind of see so that's what i'm thinking of and that's got the light underneath to illuminate the number plate i think that could be okay right so been playing about for a bit um i'm about to take the uh, sissy bar off because i can't open my carriage door with it on and the bike up like this 
So uh, I've wired in a new key and a start button now. So I've hooked the battery up. I, I stripped the carb down. That was disappointingly clean. So it was all out of sync. So I've set it up kind of how I hope it would be. Um, like kind of two and a half turns, blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to turn some fuel on and see if we can get it to start and idle by itself. Let's see what happens. Let's turn some fuel on. Rebuilt carb. Let's hope that isn't leaking. Right, ignition on. some throttle. Let's get a stand, put you in the stand. Right, let's see if we can get this started. Ignition, start button. Oh! Let's give it a little bit of chunk. idling but it's a running let's see if we can get it idling by itself right screwdriver I'm just going to adjust the uh, the float height in here a touch see if that gives me anything turn it on
Okay, sissy bar, nearly all welded up. We haven't got the light fitting on the back yet, but that's not bad. Welding's a bit rough, but they can all be ground back. Um, me and my son spent some time in the workshop yesterday and we've welded the uh, the fixings for the, the seat on. I also cut a uh, screw in there. Um, we got the tank repositioned, so that's a bit better. The oh, fake oil tank, I mean. Uh, I've put the petrol tank on just to get the positions for everything while um while I'm mounting up. But that is starting to look like a bike. Quite happy, quite happy. Um, I went to the boot sale today and bought a massive set of handlebars for a tenner. So uh, maybe going to do something with those. They're not quite as tall as them, but what I'd like to do is bring them in a little bit, like narrower here on the risers. Yeah, has that got the right word this time? So I bring them in so they kind of curve from here. So I'm not sure, I'm not sure about that, but hey ho. Hey ho, the bike is touching the wall. Everything's looking good. I'm, I'm quite happy. You might have noticed as well, I accidentally spilled a bit of cleaner on the wheels and, and that wheel too, They'll actually come up all right. My big stress at the moment is going to be that exhaust pipe. That is going to be a pain in the ass to deal with. But we'll get it sorted. We'll, we'll do something. So hopefully next video, wiring. Remember, like, share, subscribe. It makes you cool. Thank you.